we're good with that. Oh. <laughs> You're being spied on. You're being spied on. I figured we have fun with a little time lapse. Oh. Um, yeah, what? What's that behind? What you got behind me? When my father retired from nursing, uh, Ralph Lambo drew a picture of a man with a bunch of birds, and then everybody signed it. It was, a, it was like his car. Greetings. Today is the 25th of December, 2014. I am Dorothy Cottinger Wuss. I'm 93 years old. And I guess I'm known as the family historian and genealogist. I got started in genealogy in 1977 when I was trying to figure out what to give my sisters Joanne and Muriel for Christmas. Our father had died in 1970 and left some papers and letters and notebooks about his family he corresponded with a cousin in Livermore who had done family for years. So I wrote to this cousin, Herb, with a bunch of questions which he answered, and he has always been very helpful in my studies. So I started out with a little book about the Bernals, who I knew nothing about, and the Cottingers, and being a Cottinger, I did know some of that family, at least. So I start, had a little binder, which I gave to Joanne and Muriel. But now, more than 30 years later, I've got these huge binders because genealogy is a disease that doesn't go away. And I was really hooked. But it's been like a history lesson to me. And um, this is uh, our family. And this is our family tree, which has, starts with the Bernals and the Cottingers and the Nakis, who were my mother's people. 
I also have a book for my mother's people and another one for Pete and I and then another one for my daughter's husbands. So each girl is going to get a binder, uh, four binders I guess. So here we have the beginning and then we have my family with three daughters. We have Joanne's family with Stephen and Stephanie, and then Muriel's family with Mark and Eileen. I put things in here, magazine articles, newspaper articles, anything I find that will uh, help. So this is an old Chinese proverb I found, and it says, to forget one's ancestors is to be a brook without a source or a tree without a root. And now about my family. Some years ago, a lady gave me this cartoon, and it shows an elderly lady looking at a picture on the wall, and she's saying, why, I didn't know California had ancestors. And so I have given some speeches to history societies. And I start out that, well, I'm a Californian, and I did have ancestors. And I have to tell you about how they got here.